Hey everyone. So I'm just gonna really quickly show you how you can make a alias cheat sheet, uh, and this will um, allow you to learn PowerShell aliases easier. You could even print this list out and put it next to your computer if you wanted to. So let's jump right into it. We have a PowerShell command called get alias, and when we run that command, we get all the aliases for our PowerShell host here. And as you can see, lots of the aliases are from the old um, batch scripting language. So you have things like CLS to clear the screen. Here we go, clear host is CLS. Um, but we can refine this list a little bit more very easily by pipelining the results to select object and we just want the display name so if we run that now you'll see we have <coughs> a list that's easier to work with if we wanted to copy and paste chunks of it um, it's easier to do but we can take it a step further and we can pipeline it to out file and give it a file path I'm just going to put it on my desktop here. Test.txt. So when I run that, I have this new text file and it's got all the stuff in here. So it's a really easy way to have a quick list that you can work with. Uh, but let, let's take it a step further again. Let's say that you wanted to work with uh, certain. Um, aliases at a time. Let's say you wanted to only learn the remove uh, items and as you can see they're kind of mixed up in here in between rename and remove so it's, uh, it's, it's not as easy. What we can do is before we out it to the file we pipeline it again to the where command and we are going to say where um, the current pipeline items display name um, case insensitive is like uh, wildcard remove wildcard and we'll close that so what this should do is give me only results that have the word remove somewhere in the line. So let's go ahead and run this again and let me grab my notepad. So as you can see we have a short list here now with all of the objects or all the commandlets that have remove in them. And that's it. Um, it's just a very short piece of code that lets you do something cool. So I hope this helps somebody. Thanks.